The Devils, <laughs> uh, they picked Jonathan Bernier a good bit of money. A lot of money. It was a two years, four million per. Don't forget they also bring in Ryan Graves. They trade away Will Butcher because they fell out of love with him because they're weird. Though they get the bell of the ball, seven years, $9 million per less than Seth Jones because this league, they get Dougie Hamilton. I still don't see New Jersey being a threat, but I think they could give you a scare every few nights. I still don't see them above some of the, the bigger guys, but they're on their way up. Like I think next year they will definitely be out of the basement and maybe they'll win a game at home. That would be that would be nice if they won a game at home, yes. <laughs> but yeah, I think not they, against the Sabres, by the way. They don't count. Oh <laughs> those wins don't count. I think the guys they have on their roster, the young guys, I mean, like uh, I'm specifically specifically looking at Hughes and Hishay in this, the two number one overall picks that they they still have to keep taking steps forward in terms of their development. And we've seen it over the last couple of years with Nico Hishie. And I think we saw it a little bit last year with Jack Hughes, but they got to keep taking those steps in terms of proving why the, why uh, Tom Fitzgerald went out to, got, to get Dougie Hamilton as well as Jonathan Bernier. Um, in terms of the Jonathan Bernier signing, I, I think that's a great, a pretty good tandem. Like if you go look at Bernier's numbers with Detroit last year, who were not great Detroit, but Jonathan Bernier's numbers weren't horrible. Um, And to have him next to Mackenzie Blackwood, I feel like they're just trying to repeat what they did last year with Corey Crawford in a way. Fun fact before I get into the analysis. Let's hear it. When Lula Morello had to replace Martin Broder in New Jersey, Jonathan Bernier was actually one of his first choices before Corey Schneider. Was that when he was in RFA? Yeah. Okay. Before he went to the Leafs. Yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy how that works right now. <laughs> like, what, nine years later? Um, yeah, I think with New Jersey, it's just, again, it's about the young talent and what they could kind of do to elevate their games. Like, you mentioned a lot of the big names, but, like, there's also yet Jan Kukinen, who I think could keep getting better. And I really apologize, Alex. You always correct me on this, but I forgot how to say Igor Shan. Sharon Govich. Or Sharon Sharon Govich, yeah. Yes, him as well. Like these like those like type of winger guys that they could play in the top six. Or even a Pavel Zaka who kind of, you know, actually played pretty well last year that they just need this consistency to keep on going if they want. Think like okay, what they need to do is they don't have to be a top team. Like this is what I'm giving them. Just keep it together. And maybe try to get one of the last playoff spots. Like, just don't make it like, you know, when they got like Gusev and Wayne Simmons and they tried to go for it and like they didn't win like for like what their first 10 games. You know what? Two things. Really funny. I forgot about Corey Crawford being a thing. Um, Second off, like, yeah, just they're so young, New Jersey. Just keep it together. As Daniel said, keep it together. Keep your head above water. We're your team. Just a thought. I just I noticed it earlier. They have three really good or good right-handed defensemen: uh, Dougie, Damon Severson, and PK. I I mean I can see them. They have the cap space to do it to run those three guys. PK is obviously in his last year. I who knows trade coming soon you scared me because for a second i thought you were going to say pk could move the puck and i thought you were about to pitch me a return to montreal i I mean listen i'd love to see that do you want it like 50 percent retained obviously he's not the old pk but sure obviously bergevin hates him for some reason i am i'll never understand someone was asking yeah someone was asking me about that the other night and I'm like, I don't, I don't have an answer for you. Like, this is a man who donated ten million dollars to a Montreal hospital, like, I, I, because he wasn't with the team. Like, I in I this don't hockey know, economy, <laughs> you know what I mean? it was a long time. But you know what I mean? Like, again, children's fun. I say this all the time. His face is on the side of the freaking hospital. Oh. He was a he was an issue in the locker room, eh? He was a distraction off the ice. Yeah. And again, then you drafted Logan Mayu. 
and some other defensemen you've been interested in over the past couple of years and some internal hirings and some previous history with them, Sean Burke. You know, just but PK was the problem. What is PK that the rest of them aren't, by the way? I'm not gonna say it, but um, there's a difference. There's a difference there, is all I'll say. 